everyone, I'm Cami. I'm a developer advocate at Oculus who works on products and features for our developers who are helping us shape the future of VR. This video series highlights new releases, tools, and opportunities that developers like you can leverage. If you missed a past video, check them out in the links down below. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about the new updates and hand tracking in the Oculus V28 OS release. I'll review what's in the Hands API, talk about the new updates, and discuss three things developers should know when integrating Hands into their application. If you'd like to read more about hand tracking in Oculus, take a look at the blog's link down below as well. Hand tracking is a feature for Oculus Quest platform that allows you to use your hands in place of your touch controllers. The API allows developers to render fully articulated representations of a user's real life hand with mechanics such as hand position and orientation, size or scale, finger position and orientation, and several other system gestures. So in the Oculus V28 release, we're bringing new hand tracking tools and improvements for devs with the addition of far and near field gesture mechanics, custom hand meshes, and high frequency hand tracking. In addition, we've launched the Hand Pose Showcase, which features high quality samples with art and code for Unreal Engine, along with real world samples of hand tracking in First Steps and Tiny Castles, both with playable builds in App Lab. All that's to say, this is still the beginning for hand tracking. Since the initial release, we've learned a lot about hand tracking through your experimentation and feedback. We've observed that offering high frequency hand tracking results in a reduction of latency, an improvement in hand tracking quality, and the recognition of robust gestures. To provision the proper amount of compute budget for high frequency hand tracking, there is a necessary down clocking for the CPU and GPU. You can read more about all of this in our high frequency hand tracking blog that we've also linked down below. So to get started with integrating hand tracking into your application, there are a few things that you should consider with respect to tracking confidence, necessary assets, and overall performance experience. First, hand tracking is a large technical investment and does currently still have limitations. Controller experiences cannot be one-to-one -one replaced with hands because there are still certain actions that just work better with controllers. So consider using this feature as a way to create an even more immersive experience for your players. The hand pose showcase does just that and it's a great place to get started. It has fully functioning hand gestures and poses and features real demos like the recognition of American Sign Language letters and numbers. We believe that we can work together to make hand tracking better. With the code and assets needed to perform the hand actions in your application, we recommend and ask to share what you learn and build with the developer community. Developers like Luca Mephisto have already started with his open source repository of hand poses featured in the pirate demo game that he created. Providing this level of leadership will help everyone fine tune hand tracking to make it a more well-rounded and reliable experience. And finally, improvements to fidelity are ongoing. With high frequency hand tracking, we have consistently noted latency improvements and this will only get better because this improvement moves us closer to a seamless replication of natural movement within VR. The best place to get started with hand tracking is taking a look at our technical documentation and designing for hands resource. In each of these, you will learn about integrating hand tracking with the native SDK, Unity and Unreal Engine, along with best practices and packaged user interface components to receive input from hands. To understand some real world applications of hand tracking with the updates from the V28 release, check out these blogs from the First Steps and Tiny Castles team for insights as to how they integrated these features in their apps. So to wrap this all up, I just wanted to say thank you for all of your contributions to the Oculus community. We are all so inspired by what you've built with hand tracking thus far, and we are excited that you're on this journey with us. Until next time.